So here's something that you might run into if you're using takes inside of Cinema 4D. You have a simple animation here inside of your main take and you've got a couple keyframes and inside your dope sheet you can see your keys, you can see your F-curves in the F-curve mode. However, when you go to add in a brand new take, you'll notice that the F-curves disappear and you can't see or edit the original animation any longer. If you twirl this down, you see that we have position X and Z in place, but now we don't see those F-curves. Even if you toggle this show only active take, you can see that it's, uh, the animated parameters there disappear. So hopping back over to the dope sheet, you can see ghosted keys here and you can twirl this down and you, you have access to your mini F-curve window. However, in the actual F-curve mode, you don't see anything. And so the trick here is to select your cube. And in my case here, I have the animated position parameters. And so I can simply click and drag those parameters that I want to change or see and drag them into the override tree here inside the takes window and now I have access to the actual edit the F curves which I can edit I'll add in a keyframe here I can tweak this out and now I'm gonna just basically come up with a different animation altogether let's go ahead and bump this up and now we have this as our animation as opposed to this so here's our main take animation here's our child take animation and now we have two different animations just by adding that override uh, let's go ahead and throw in a rotation keyframe here. And so um, at the very beginning, we can actually keyframe this now because we have auto takes on. If you had this disabled, let's go ahead and undo that. If you had this disabled, what you'd have to do is notice that these guys are gray here. So what you'd have to do instead is to select your parameter that you want to keyframe or animate, right click on it and say override, and you'll manually add overrides that way. And now you can add key, uh, your keyframes to this. So we'll add a keyframe here. And then at frame 20, let's just tweak this out just to show you and add another keyframe. And so when we rewind, now we have rotation in there as our child in our child take. That's really the trick to seeing and editing F curves inside of a child take from the parent take. So hope that helps.